in 2026 is projected to be near $17.87 based on the KPIs and circulating supply of the 50 billion tokens. If you take the math one step further and reduce the circulating supply to be between 12.6 billion and uh, 15 billion, that would make the price of Jasmine equal to roughly $60, $70. Now, this is really, really bold, right? And the guy's name is not apparently uh, the anonymous unknown. He puts the crypto dead, all right? So I saw this and I said to myself, wow, this has to do with math. This has to do with Jasmine. I got a message from Mike Cornwall. Mike Cornwall got involved and he messaged him back. Mike Cornwall says, <clears throat> not contesting, just clarification. The market cap would have to be over uh, 800 billion to get a price of 17.87 with 46.4 billion circulating supply. Then Mike goes on to state that would take passing Bitcoin and Ethereum's price combined 638 billion combined as of this comment break this down for me and get some clarification how this is possible the mic states again this is like what yesterday i believe he says and if the circulating supply was 15 billion and the coin was priced at 70 dollars jasmine would have a market cap of 1.05 trillion all right not to say that it will never get there but i mean people do look at it from the perspective of like damn man i mean that would make this literally you know, like Bitcoin, right? So then this guy does respond. He states, read again, man, big companies will be locked, will have locked 35 billion of the coins to use for their Jasmine secure PC and only 12.6 billion will be left for us. As in, I guess, retail money, meaning the circulating supply would be only four or 12.6 billion and the value would skyrocket. Um, on top of that, uh, this guy states also all time high peak of Bitcoin will be trillions of dollar market cap since Bitcoin would be minimum of a hundred thousand to four five hundred thousand in the bull run. I mean, I know some people will say that and so on. Me personally, I do see that you know Bitcoin will go to over a hundred thousand. To me, that part makes sense. I don't know about five hundred thousand. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff that could still happen, right? That's why a lot of people feel like there's still a lot of opportunity in this. So Mike Cornwell responds, he says, I understand. I math with 15 billion. But even with $12.5 billion supply and a price of $70, uh, the market cap would have to be $175 billion on Jasmine alone to reach that price. And if you wonder where Mike is getting all this, he took some screenshots. And he sent to me um, on my phone. And he has like this um, market cap calculator and so on. So he's not like pulling this out of thin air, right? So, you know, uh, Mike has another response. We didn't hear back from this guy. Hopefully he responds at some point. He says $70 Jasmine basically equals $12.5 billion circulating supply. On top of that, that's basically $875 billion market cap. Now, if I had a case of Jasmine surpassing an $875 billion market cap, then that adds up. Under your calculations, can you break down a $70 Jasmine with a $12.5 billion supply? No response yet. I love Seventy dollar Jasmine. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, God, I'd be more than a millionaire. It'd be crazy. So it says, as I'm a holder, are you projecting close to a trillion dollar Jasmine market cap? Well, I will state this. I don't know if you did see this, uh, Mike, but I think he is stating that because he did mention. Oh, that's where you stated one point zero five trillion. Anyway, guys, we thought we would share this with you. It is interesting to see these particular perspectives um, on Jasmine. Um, but yeah, it would be nice if this guy did respond, Mike. Maybe he'll respond in the next few days. You never know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again and we will see you on the next video.